My name is Hussein Ali Abdul Qadam and I'm uh, from group number 10 of general medicine. Today I'll talk about the uh, synovial joints. First of all, the synovial joints is divided into six joints. And there, is, there are is the hinge, pivot, polar socket, saddle, and uh, ellipsoid and plane. And uh, let's talk about this six types, or sorry, uh, yes, six types, one by one. Uh, so the first type is the hinge. Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, the hinge is a very simple joint, and it uh, allows a movement of one axis. Uh, the head of uh, the head of one bone is wraps uh, is wraps uh, of the cylindrical of the other bone, or sorry, of the or the other. Uh, okay, and uh, the hinge is allows uh, flexion, flexion and extension. The the best uh, the best example of the uh, the best example of the hinge joints is the uh, at the elbow. Uh, here is uh, here is a tension. Uh, here is uh, our tension of the simplified uh, skeleton, flexion and extension. That's it. So let's move to the next joints. So the second type of uh, uh, synovial joint is pivot, the pivot joints. It also allows rotation and only one, uh, at only one axis. However, it rotates along on the long axis. A cylindric bone fits into range of uh, of bone and ligament, like radio ulna joints, just below the elbow. The result uh, the result on the foramen is pronation and saponation. During pronation, the pace uh, the pace uh, the pace of uh, uh, radius. Uh, ro ro rotates over the uh, uh, over and around uh, the head of ulna. The ulna is still relativity still. So uh, stay relativity still, and the uh, digital and the uh, digital joints of the ulna and uh, and radius is also provide uh, joints. And the combination. Of the uh, of the pivot of the pivot and uh, at the at the top and uh, at the bottom uh, creates that twisting motion for uh, protection and so for pro pronation and saponation. So uh, that's all about the pivot uh, joints and let's move to polar socket joints and talk about. It. And now let's talk about the third type of synovial joints. The third type of synovial joints it's ball and socket. The ball and socket is the, the, uh, the champion of all joints and the structure is just like uh, how it sounds, uh, a ball inside a socket. And uh, the simple structure it allows, uh, allows uh, the, the mo to move of all axes, uh, uh, flexion, uh, flexion, extension, adduction, uh, abduction, and uh, rotation and Circumduction. Uh, the two ball and uh, the two ball and sector joints inside the body uh, are the hip and shoulder. The hip joints, uh, the, the hip has uh, has a, a deep sector, uh, which give it uh, stability, but but a limit small, uh, but a, li a limit some uh, range of motion. But the shoulder. Has uh, has a, a shallower uh, a shallower uh, sector, which uh, which it gives a greater terrain uh, of motion, but takes away some stability. So that's all about the uh, pollen second, and let's move to the fourth type of synovial joints. Let's talk about the fourth type, the fourth type of synovial joints. The fourth type of synovial joints is ellipsoid. The ellipsoid is very similar to ball and socket, and however, it's the ligament and uh, and uh, over shape uh, prevent uh, reaction uh, reduction, protection, and uh, it allows uh, the flexion and uh, extension, uh, ad adduction, uh, sorry, abduction and adduction and uh, circumduction uh, movement. The, the best example, uh, the best example of uh, ellipsoid uh, is the rest. 
and the group uh, of carbon bonds uh, wrote inside uh, circuit, uh, the uh, circuit of the radius. This, that's all about the ellipsoid joints. Uh, and now let's move to last two uh, type of synovial joints. And now let's talk about the, ter the fifth type of the uh, synovial joints, and it's the saddle. The saddle is the similar of the uh, ellipsoid, but the rotation is, uh, is a limit mostly because of the bone structure. Two bones, uh, the both, both bones have a, a, a concave and a convex uh, surface. The concave uh, means the surface is stick in like a hole, but the convex means the uh, surface is stick out like a hole. The, con uh, the concave plane uh, uh, of uh, one fifth uh, on, the, on the convex uh, plane of the other. And, uh, and uh, this allows a flexed, uh, a flexed extend adduct and abduct and circumduct motion. And the, uh, the example of sedial, uh, uh, of the se uh, sedial bone in the, uh, joints in the body is the uh, is the carbo, uh, metacarbal joints of the uh, thumb. That's all about the sagittal joints, and let's move to last, uh, the last type of synovial joints. For the last type of synovial uh, joints about the plane, it's, uh, uh, it's basically two uh, flat uh, surfaces, and uh, uh, on, uh, on top of the other, uh, this surface can glide or rotate. It usually comes into a group and like a, uh, like a carbals uh, of the hand and uh, the tarsals of the uh, of the foot and uh, the ligaments is hold uh, these bones together, but mate allows uh, some uh, rotation and uh, and uh, gliding. That's uh, all what I have about uh, synovial uh, joints. I hope you have enjoyed my video and thank you for your attention.